Hey friends, welcome to another session of story time with me. I'm Miss Seema and you're watching Seema Story Time. Children, I hope you all are doing good in whichever part of the world you are. You're sound and safe and you're wearing your mask, you're keeping the social distancing and staying at home. Good. Also watching our story time. Wow, that's good to know. Very nice, very nice. So children, you, you know we read the story of the highway rat, wherein the highway rat was a food thief. So today's story is somewhere in the same lines and it's about Magusi. Yes. So Magusi is a cat. Okay, not a rat. Yes. And Magusi is a cat and Magusi has something in his hand and that is a paper, some kind of a paper. And Magusi has a very strange, strange look. Isn't it? Can you see that? It's either in deep thought or Magusi is planning something. Hmm. Is he? Is he planning something? Looks like it's quite dark and he is outside the house. So this is going to be really exciting. I'm so excited to read the story children. Are you excited as much as me? Good, good to know that. So let's read the story and find out what's Magusi up to. Let's read the story children. Magusi. So children, the name of the story is Magusi by Christine Morton and illustrated by Thomas Mueller. Meet Magusi, a stray cat. A very strange stray cat. He had lots of funny little habits. For a start, he never went anywhere without his tatty old hat. He had a passion for knitting, tail warmers, earmuffs, that kind of thing. And he had the biggest collection of maps in town. One night, he came out of his cat flap in his flat cap. He was clearly up to no good. Look at the map. X marks the derelict house where Magusi lives. Y marks Larry's fish shop. Z marks the bank. Maybe you can guess how it all went wrong. It was the dead of night. The moon was like a fingernail, but bright. Magusi's tail went swish, swish, swish. Just the night for stealing fish. Off he went down the alleyway to what he thought was Larry's fish shop. Swish, swish, swish. But next door was a guard dog. A guard dog called Ruff. He woke up in his kennel and sniffed the air. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I see the tail of a cat on the run, said Ruff. He gave his most fierce bark ever. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Poor, poor Magusi was scared out of his wits. His fur stuck out like a toilet brush and he ran up the drain pipe along the wall, up the fire escape along the roof. But look, a hole, a teeny tiny hole in the slates. 
Magusi was good at teeny, tiny holes and he was in there in a flash. And boy, was it spooky. Sheets lay everywhere like ghosts. Ghosts lay everywhere like sheets. Let me get out of here, said Magusi. He checked his map. Then he crept down the dark, dark stairs into what he thought was Larry's fish shop. There was not a herring in sight, just lots of paper and piles of files. He'd missed the fish shop and hit the bank. But, oh, the smell of fish through the walls. Oh, how Magusi slavered and mewled and purred in the moonlight. He could smell a million fishy smells, but he couldn't get to them. Oh my, swish, swish, swish. I can smell a million squillion fish. Look at both buildings side by side. Look at Magusi trying to hide. Look at Ruff's mouth open wide. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Watch out, pussycat, here I come. The security man came along with a torch that went click, click. What is it, Ruff? Burglars? He peeped through the bank windows and he saw a shadow that should not have been there. He reached for the alarm button and pressed it. Who, who, who went the alarm? We know who it was, of course, but the police didn't. They screeched up in their cars and surrounded the bank. Come out, come out, whoever you are. Come out with your hands above your head. Magusi was scared. He wanted pilchards, not prison. And it's not easy to put your hands above your head when not when you are a cat. He did his best with his paws and stepped bravely into the torchlight. The police officers laughed. The security guard laughed. They looked at his map and laughed again. It's only a cat burglar, he said. Magusi was famous. They took him to the station and took his photograph. And they gave him a medal, the worst burglar ever award. Larry's fish shop became famous too. People came from far and wide to buy fish and stroke Magusi's famous nose because that's where Magusi lives now and Larry lets him have all the fish he can eat. He sits and knits and eats rolled herrings and mackerel and cod and halibut and plaice and scampi, prawns, eels, millet, sole, pilchards, salmon, sardines, tuna fish, trout and sprats. And what more could a cat want than that? The end. Children, that was a cute little story of Magusi the cat. Children, did you realize what award he got? The worst burglar award. But it was so funny because the, all the policemen and people around was literally laughing at Magusi because how can be a burglar, a cat burglar? No way. But he was trying to find something else. His favorite, the fish. And what? Finally, he gets to eat all of them because Larry decides to keep him in his shop. Because Magusi is in his shop, everybody comes to see Magusi and buys a fish. And he is having a very good business. And in the bargain, Magusi is getting to eat all the fish he, which he, want, he dreamt of and which he wanted to eat. That's a nice life. Isn't it? Great children, that was a very funny story. 
and I loved it and I hope you did too. We'll come back again, children, from our story room. It's a bye-bye. See you soon.